Well, hello my fellow YouTubers. Uh, got this new project here. Nice uh, 1984 Cobia. It is a Cobia Odyssey 170 SR. I'd say 170 is their way of saying 17 foot. Um, has a fuel tank under the floor but when I bought it they had this hooked up and I'd assume there's probably a reason um, really nice interior in this boat somebody must have taken decent care of it really big tower power 115 mercury looks original to the boat but uh yeah, fairly decent, and uh, a nice trailer. Buddy gave me a couple tires. Uh, yeah, nice little boat for its time. It's got a. Uh, problem I'm having with it right now is for some reason it keeps cutting out on the water and not charging the battery and as you can see up here I have a tachometer and when it's cutting out it's like going and not going at the same like when it's not going that's when the engine's acting funny and then the engine will run perfect and the tachometer will work perfectly and then it'll go right back to doing it again um, I've chased all these wires I was, I've read online that the rectifier is normally the problem but really this looks pretty clean like it really looks like somebody took good care of this and uh, I checked this fuse, that fuse is good. Uh, this fuse, and I looked at the wiring diagram and really didn't see anything about this. I've chased this wire back into my wiring harness that goes into my boat. And then, This hot wire that comes out of the rectifier goes to this wire and the fuse is good on that. So why couldn't it have been that fuse? Um, but then this harness, this harness goes up here, back into the boat harness as well. So, on the wiring diagram, it doesn't say anything about this. I thought it would be from my power trim, possibly, but my power trim still works fine, even though this fuse is... <laughs> I can't dig the old fuse out of here yet. But, uh... Still, I'm happy. I mean, I got a good find. I gave $800 for this boat. And... I think it's a pretty good deal because, I mean, what do you really expect for $800? You got 115 horse motor. That problem could evidently be fixed. Um, other than that, that's all I have. Anybody uh, got any suggestions, any Mercury fans or whatever? Uh, give me any pointers on. Because the other thing, I was thinking my stator at first, but looking up into my wires, it's all so clean up in there. I don't see why it would just go bad. But maybe, just uh, let me know what you think if anybody wants to help a guy out. 10-4. Um,